Welcome back to our journey through human evolution. If you've seen our previous videos, you know we started with Australopithecus, moved on to Homo habilis, and then to Homo erectus. Now, we've reached the fascinating chapter of Homo neanderthals. So, who were these ancient beings? And how did they shape the course of our history? Let's dive in. Homo neanderthals, or neanderthals, were not just another branch on the human family tree. They were a profound testament to the complexity and diversity of human evolution. Living between 400,000 and 40,000 years ago, Neanderthals were incredibly close to us, Homo sapiens, in genetic terms, sharing over 99.7% of our DNA. But let's break this down in a way that truly highlights their uniqueness. Imagine the intelligence of a modern chimpanzee, our closest living relative today. While chimps can use simple tools and display remarkable problem-solving skills, their abilities pale in comparison to those of Neanderthals. Neanderthals weren't just a step above monkeys, they were almost on par with modern humans in many ways. They could create complex tools, care for their sick, and adapt to challenging environments in ways that were far beyond what any other species, aside from us, has ever managed. Yet, despite this closeness, Neanderthals were distinct in many aspects. They were shorter and stockier, perfectly adapted to the cold, harsh climates of Ice Age Europe and Asia. Their brains were slightly larger on average than ours, and while brain size doesn't directly equate to intelligence, it suggests that they had highly developed cognitive abilities, abilities that were once thought to be unique to modern humans. Their elongated skulls, with prominent brow ridges and wide noses, weren't just physical traits, they were evolutionary responses to their environment, enhancing their survival. When you think about intelligence, it's easy to measure it by human standards today. But imagine living in an unforgiving Ice Age landscape, where survival required not just brute strength, but also strategic thinking, cooperation, and adaptability. Neanderthals mastered these challenges. While they may not have built cities or invented writing, their intelligence was expressed through their ability to thrive in some of the toughest conditions imaginable, all while developing social structures and cultural practices that echo those of modern humans. In essence, Neanderthals were the bridge between the intelligence of our primate ancestors and the advanced cognitive abilities of Homo sapiens. They were a unique experiment in human evolution, showing us that intelligence and adaptability come in many forms, some of which are not so different from our own. Neanderthals were truly built to endure one of the most challenging environments in human history. The world they inhabited was drastically different from the one we know today. Imagine a landscape dominated by ice sheets, freezing temperatures, and harsh winds. This was the Ice Age, a time when Europe and parts of Asia were gripped by severe cold that would make today's winters seem mild by comparison. To survive in such a hostile climate, Neanderthals developed physical traits that set them apart from both their ancestors and modern humans. Their bodies were shorter and stockier, a natural adaptation that helped them conserve heat. Unlike today's tall and lean populations that thrive in warmer climates, Neanderthals had thick, robust frames. This compact body shape 
reduced the surface area through which heat could escape, allowing them to stay warm even in freezing conditions. Their limbs were also shorter and more muscular than ours, further aiding in heat retention and giving them the strength to navigate rugged, icy terrains. Picture trying to trek through deep snow or climb a rocky, ice-covered slope. Neanderthals were equipped for these challenges in a way that would make modern humans struggle. One of their most distinctive features was their skull. Neanderthals had elongated skulls with pronounced brow ridges and wide, flaring noses. These were not just cosmetic differences, they were critical adaptations to the cold. The wide nose, for instance, likely played a key role in warming and humidifying the cold air they breathed before it reached their lungs. This adaptation was essential for surviving the freezing temperatures that were common during the Ice Age. Their skulls also housed large brains, slightly bigger on average than those of modern humans. This larger brain size is thought to have supported their advanced cognitive abilities, which were crucial for their survival. They needed to solve complex problems, like how to hunt large animals in such a barren landscape, or how to make shelters that could withstand the bitter cold. In contrast, Today's climate is much more temperate, with advanced clothing, heating, and shelter technology making it easier for humans to live in a wide range of environments. Modern humans, with their taller, leaner bodies, are well suited to a world where food is plentiful and temperatures are generally warmer. But for Neanderthals, every physical trait was honed by the need to survive in a world that was far colder, harsher, and more unforgiving than anything we face today. In essence, the Neanderthal physique was a masterpiece of evolutionary engineering, perfectly tailored to endure and thrive in an Ice Age world. They were the ultimate survivors of their time, with bodies designed not just to survive, but to excel in a climate that would challenge even the most rugged modern humans. Neanderthals were not just physically adapted to their environment, they were also remarkably skilled in using tools and developing technology that gave them a significant edge in their harsh world. Their ability to create and utilize tools is one of the most compelling aspects of their intelligence placing them far above the tool-using abilities of primates, and even on par with early modern humans in many respects. One of the most advanced techniques they employed was the Levallois method, named after a site in France where these tools were first discovered. This technique was not just about chipping away at stones to create sharp edges, as earlier hominins did. Instead, Neanderthals would carefully prepare a stone core by shaping it into a particular form, then striking it in a precise way to produce a flake with a predetermined size and shape. This level of planning and precision required not only physical skill, but also advanced cognitive abilities, such as foresight and problem solving, which are traits closely associated with modern human intelligence. These flakes were incredibly versatile and could be used as knives, scrapers, or spear points. The tools they created were durable and effective, allowing Neanderthals to efficiently process animal hides, butcher large game, and even work with wood and plants. The quality of these tools suggests that Neanderthals were not only skilled but also had a deep understanding of the materials they were working with, selecting the best stones and using the most effective techniques to meet their needs. Neanderthals also used more sophisticated tools like hafted weapons. By attaching stone points to wooden shafts, they created spears that were deadly effective for hunting. This innovation allowed them to hunt large and dangerous animals like mammoths, bison, 
and rhinoceroses, which were vital sources of food and materials. These weapons required not only technical skill, but also an understanding of materials and physics, knowing how to balance a spear, how to make it strong enough to withstand impact, and how to throw it with deadly accuracy. But Neanderthal technology wasn't limited to tools for hunting and survival. Evidence suggests that they also made use of organic materials like wood and bone to create objects, though fewer of these have survived over time. They likely used wooden digging sticks, bone awls for working hides, and even possibly simple nets or traps for catching smaller animals. There is also growing evidence that Neanderthals may have used fire not just for warmth and cooking, but also in their tool-making processes. Heat treating stone, for instance, can make it easier to flake and shape, a technique that was later widely used by Homo sapiens. While it's unclear how extensively Neanderthals used this method, it hints at a level of technological sophistication that was previously underappreciated. Neanderthals were not just strong and smart, they also had a rich social and cultural life that shows they were much more than simple cave dwellers. They lived in small groups, often made up of family members, and their social bonds were strong. These close-knit communities were crucial for their survival, especially in the harsh environments of the Ice Age. One of the most remarkable aspects of Neanderthal life was how they cared for each other. Archaeologists have found evidence that Neanderthals looked after their sick and injured, sometimes for long periods. This suggests that they had a deep sense of compassion and responsibility towards their group members. For example, some Neanderthal skeletons show signs of injuries or illnesses that would have made it difficult for the person to survive alone. The fact that these individuals lived for years with these conditions suggests they were cared for by others in their group. Neanderthals also had some form of burial practices, which indicates they may have had a concept of death and possibly even beliefs about an afterlife. In several cases, Neanderthal remains have been found buried in a deliberate way, sometimes with tools, animal bones, or flowers placed around the body. This shows that they didn't just leave their dead out in the open. Instead, they took the time to bury them, which could reflect a form of ritual or respect for the deceased. Their cultural life extended beyond just survival. Neanderthals made and used tools, but they also engaged in activities that seemed to be more about expression than necessity. For instance, they used pigments like red ochre, possibly to decorate their bodies or objects. Some Neanderthal sites have also yielded evidence of simple jewelry, like necklaces made from shells or animal teeth. These findings suggest that Neanderthals had a sense of personal or group identity, and they may have expressed this through their appearance and the objects they created. There's also evidence that Neanderthals were capable of complex communication. While we don't know exactly how they spoke, their anatomy suggests that they could produce a range of sounds similar to modern humans. This means they likely had a form of language, though it might not have been as complex as the languages we speak today. Through this communication, they could plan hunts, teach skills to younger members, and strengthen social bonds. One of the most intriguing aspects of Neanderthals is their interaction with early Homo sapiens. When modern humans began migrating out of Africa, they encountered Neanderthals in Europe and Asia. This led to interbreeding, and as a result, many people today carry a small percentage of Neanderthal DNA. However, despite this mingling, Neanderthals eventually disappeared around 40,000 years ago. The exact reason for their extinction remains a mystery, with theories ranging from climate change to competition with Homo sapiens. Homo Neanderthals were a remarkable species, displaying intelligence, adaptability, and social complexity. Their legacy lives on, not just in our DNA, 
but in the story of human evolution. And this brings us to the next chapter of our journey. In our next video, we'll explore Homo sapiens and how we came to be the dominant species on Earth. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next part of our series on human evolution.